Hi, I'm Sherry from Homeschooling on a Wing and a Prayer blog. I'm going to talk about the grammar program that we will be using and have been using for many, many years, and that's Winston Grammar. Now, I know there's tons of different programs out there, but this one just really spoke to me way back when, when my oldest was, I believe, going maybe into junior high, I found this. And I loved it so much, and I really liked the results, and so I just have used it over and over and over. So what you have with the Winston Grammar program is not like your typical draw your lines down and diagram to death your sentences. Rather, you use cards, which you will get in the kit, to help the child visually lay out each word of the sentences. And if there is a black, that means there's a black card. And for the life of me, I have a stash of the other cards which obviously I need to find here before the start of school but when I was cleaning out the classroom my, anything on the surface was just shoved somewhere my work boxes are like explosions of stuff that's probably where they are I hope that's where they are anywho I need to find those so I won't have it to show you for the demonstration but you'll get the gist in the teachers book it'll show what cards they should already have and already have learned and then a new concept if if there's no new concept it'll say no new concept you read this information then you go over practice sentences with them this one happens to be I'm unhappy about the game you lay out the cards for them after a while and then you can let them do it and you can correct it if it's wrong so I and am well I is a personal pronoun and the nice thing about these cards is one side says that and they want to write P-R-O-N, I'm sorry, yeah. And then on the back side it has the words that go under that. After a while, once my kids have the concept, I will not make them lay out the whole entire sentence. As long as they understand it, then I'll just let them use two cards. So he'll line up one card like this and another like this below it, and then he can just quickly look and use it as reference as he's going through if need be. And they're all different colors. The verbs are in blue. You have your adverb adjectives, prepositional phrase, and all that kind of stuff. And then as he's working through it, uh, we haven't recovered the conjunctions yet, so that card's not in there. But as they work through it, then they really have a good visual, hands-on way of breaking down the parts of the sentence. Eventually, they will have to go to here where they have to find the subject and the is it an action verb is it a linking verb and they provide these cards I'm thinking this might be for the advanced and you get these two for the advanced bear with me it's been a while since I've taught the advanced one anyway so you work through you lay it out and then they go uh-huh that's it and then in the teacher's guide they also will have that actual worksheet and then everything laid out for you so at this point, there's not too much going on, but eventually it gets to where it looks like this. You have all this going on. What type of prepositional phrase is this? What is it modifying? And so on and so forth. So by the time they're done, they have a really good grasp of grammar. They have the basic level, which I obviously make all the kids do, and they also have the supplemental, which he is currently working through. We've slowed down and taken our time simply because uh, last year was kind of a wash due to everything going on and I just did whatever we had to do to get through so this is a little bit behind but that's all right I don't mind making sure that he's taking his time and understanding it and not rushing through you can use this as a um, helper teacher's guide because it's all the same concepts just different sentences sometimes they forget one and then you can go through the coordinating lesson again to help them remember. With this one, the teacher's key is just a like a soft-sided like this, no big deal. And then once he's done with this, he'll be ready for the advanced. Now the basic ones are listed for grades 4 through 12. This is high school. I personally like to wait until the child has a really good grasp of just the English language just spoken. It's not that we don't cover the basics like verbs and nouns and things like that during that time. It's just we don't focus so heavily on it. So I like to wait until they're like sixth, seventh grade before I start this program. Um, 
I just feel like it works better because I'd rather just go through it once and be done not have to go through it and then wait a year or two and then go back into it again. I just feel like if you wait till a little bit older, you can get through it once and like I said, then they have it. So he's working on that. And then for the high school, you have the advanced level. I usually like to wait until they're at least a sophomore, if not older, to get through this because it has a lot more complex things going on. Here they have to answer all these things and on top of that as they go down the road now they're going to have to figure out is it a relative pronoun of subordinating conjunction and so on and so forth. So it's definitely more complex and that's where they would use these cards to help them get through. The teacher's manual is the same as the basic. It tells you the answers and how it's supposed to look when it's done. And you grade these and then that you can use for your grade for their transcript. So there you have it. That is how we do, oops, let's get to look at something here. That is how we do grammar in our house. Again, we do use the LLATO language arts program, but, and they do cover a lot of this, but I prefer to use this as our main grammar program. It's fun. It doesn't bore the children to death and they actually learn and they learn well. In fact, all three of my graduates are what I call grammar police because they can find mistakes all the time with other people and stuff like that. So there you go. Again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the description. Description box. No, nope, that's for me. The comment section. In the description box, I will link to the Rainbow Resource because they have a really good review on that and their actual site so you can take a look for yourself. So uh, be sure to subscribe because like I said in all my other videos, I have tons and tons of reviews. I'm going to just slowly keep working on them and getting them done when I can. And you don't want to miss them. And uh, again, you know, thanks for watching. Until next time.